One, two, three. Welcome. Yeah, where's Tammy? Let's get on with let's the show! Let's do it, let's go! Hi guys. Welcome to Friday's show. It's a hot one. It's a live one. It's a live one. <laughs> and it's a hot one. It is a very hot one. Yes. Uh, so hot, in fact, oh. that some of my cocktails didn't work out today. But we're still... Really? Yeah, I... Uh, well, don't say that because no one knows. I transferred them in uh, this little guy. Yeah, they I don't know. told everybody I was a doctor and I had to get Tammy a heart. Yes. Uh, but... Probably a liver, more likely. <laughs> more likely a liver. Yeah, that's probably yes. true. Uh -huh. um, and so one of my cocktails did sort of fail, but we're going to be okay. I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. It's it's gonna taste delicious. It's just not gonna be exactly what I wanted. Okay. But here we are. Uh, hey, but also yeah. don't tell people because they might not know and they're like, oh, is that how it's supposed to be? But I'll know. Okay. All I'll right. know. Fair enough. Perfection is all I'm looking for. I'm excited about today's show yep. because the weather has been slightly obnoxious. Oppressive. On the heat temperature. Yeah. It's been a hot one. Uh, I was in your home state. Sorry. <sighs> <laughs> that Arizona is something else, huh? I mean, um, yeah. yeah, it's, uh, I'm used to, you know, being born in Australia, mm -hmm. hot. Sure. Living in California. Hot. Hot. Yeah. Been to Palm Springs and uh -huh. stuff, been to Egypt. Yep. Been to, but Arizona, mm -hmm. that'll kill you. Yeah. Uh, I've, the best I've ever heard it described is oh. it's like standing in, uh, by a bus exhaust. Yes. But you can't move away. Correct. That's exactly what it is. It doesn't that's matter what, what yeah. happens, you just have hot air yeah. blowing in your face. That's it. Yes. Um, well, I have some solutions. Great. So uh, Great. I say we get into some of these uh, these solutions. I have um, uh, one very famous hot weather cocktail. Okay. I have one new way to make a very famous uh, hot cocktail. And then I have one that I've created on my own. So you mean a hot weather cocktail. Hot weather like cocktail. These cocktails? are all very chilly cocktails. Each of these chillier than the next. Okay. So uh, we are going to get into it first. Right. Um, Tammy. Yes. What is my what is a favorite drink of mine that I make for you? Well, well, the daiquiri. There is, we course, go. The, the daiquiri. One. The daiquiri. Yes. It is. Yes. The daiquiri. It is. Yes. Uh, when I make a daiquiri for you, yes, it is usually on ice. It's correct. Beautiful. Yes. It's it's beauty encompassed in a glass. Yeah. That just fulfills your dreams. I agree. Yes. I think it is a perfect cocktail yes. as well. Uh, today I am going to bring you a way to make the daiquiri okay. so that it is uh, not on ice. You have all the water into it, and it also is a frozen drink, Ugh. sort of like an icy or a slushy. Yeah. Yes. So uh, you can do that, of course. There's lots of different ways, uh, but the way we're doing it today, I think, is the best way. Okay. So uh, you do need about a day prep. Oh. And you also cannot have an hour and a half car ride yes. from uh, the valley to uh, to where we uh, to Awesome Town. Okay. Um, so it's a little meltier than I yeah. wanted it to be. So, so let's get into it. Build it and make it at home. Exactly. Don't leave your house. So what you want to do? Very very simple. Yeah. Just put your, your mat to your right. Sure. Yeah. Right right here. Yeah. yeah. That's Greg the camera guy. We don't have. Uh, how about right here? Is that good? No. Nope. Yeah, there you go. Twist it a little now. Little twist. Oh, no, other, other way. way. Great. Uh, too much. Yeah, there it is. Look at that. There we go. Oh. Okay. This is live, ladies and gentlemen. My my, TV. my daiquiri is melting as we speak. Oh, so okay. let's get oh, back let's into it. Okay. So this is how you make a daiquiri yes. that is frozen. So uh, we want to start over here yep. uh, with some of this uh, white rum. You need white rum. Uh, you can use any rum you want, but uh, white seems. Best. Got my jiggers. Uh, seems to do the best. Uh, right here, you need to put in about two ounces. I say about. Put in two ounces. Okay. Don't be wishy-washy. Put in two ounces of some white rum. Yeah. You need to put in one full ounce of some lime juice. Okay. Cool. So far, that's how I remember you normally. There's no like, them. yeah. There's no real like crazy thing that I'm doing here. Yeah. Uh, it is just the technique more than anything. So, uh, if you hear that, that is uh, something filling up with water. That is not me peeing behind yeah, the not... bar. There we go. We need 
one full ounce of lime juice right there. Right. Easy peasy. We need mm. three quarters of an ounce of some simple syrup. Yep. Let's hit this. Right there. Now, the next two ingredients, so that's a daiquiri. Yeah. Well, you under, you recognize that yeah. as a daiquiri. Very simple. Are you, you now shaking that? Slightly, or no, in, in fact, coop? we are not shaking mm, it at no, all. No, nope. okay. uh, We are uh, taking this, we're gonna add just a little bit more to it. Okay. Since we won't be shaking it, we will be freezing it. Uh, we need some water. So you wanna grab about two ounces of just some regular old, plain old tap water, okay. right there. That tap water is going to be in place of us shaking. Okay. And you also want to grab, and this is sort of where it gets weird, just a touch of salt. Just a baby pinch of salt. Salt is going to do two things. First of all, since you're letting this sit and you're mm -hmm. letting the lime freeze, mm -hmm. you're going to lose some of that flavor in the lime. So the salt will bring back that flavor. It's also going to stop the water from melt, from freezing completely. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So you take this, okay. you uh, ch -ch 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 -ch, yeah. put it into a uh, plastic bag. Yeah. And from there, you get this. You put that in the freezer for about a day, oh. and you get this lovely, mine is melted, but you will get a much harder surface yeah. uh, to this, uh, or much harder substance. Put that into a blender. But it will never freeze, right, because of the rum? That's correct, it'll never freeze okay. fully. Yeah. But it will freeze uh, a lot, and that salt is going to help it not to freeze. Yeah. Uh, but it will freeze enough. It'll be a little bit harder than this, but you put that into a blender, and you're good. We don't have a blender, so can sit, or we have a blender, but we don't need it anymore. Oh, I have Mervin over here. We're going to just pour these. Right. This is freezer bag daiquiris. Wow. Pours just like an icy. Yeah. So that now happens. I made two of these for you and I because I knew that I would want yes, one of these of so bad Come today. On. So uh, I'm sure that there are better bags to do this in. Uh, yeah, they're bigger Ziploc bags. There are bigger Ziploc bags. You can bags. make way more. I'm sure that there are some that have the little, uh, the little like uh, tool here, the, the like the the pory the pory spout. Oh, I'm sure that there are some they that do exist. I mean, well, they don't. Not shark tank. We're getting here we, on it. Here we go. <laughs> Uh, so the consistency is pretty good. Normally it's a little harder. Okay. Uh, the, 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 the substance is a little harder, so you yeah. do have to put it into a blender, give it a quick blend okay. and go, but since it melted on the way Add over here. ice to it though? No, no ice. Nothing, just blend it. Okay. That's what's so great about oh. this, is literally it is good to go. That water that we put into it yeah. is instead of shaking, yeah. and then the, um, the freezing yeah. sort of incorporates everything, and that salt starts to bring all the other flavors out and there you have it, a frozen, free, it's a freezer daiquiri. Yeah. Yeah, this is, a, this is a, by a guy named Dave Arnold. This cocktail oh, idea okay. is from a guy named Dave Arnold who wrote maybe my favorite cocktail book of all time. It's called Liquid Intelligence. Mm -hmm. uh, we should drink this before oh, it yes. melts before too much. Melts, but, uh, Liquid Intelligence. The, cheers. Cheers to you. The Mad Scientist. The Mad, I know, I think we've, we've spoken about him before. We have, from Booker lot. and Dax. Cheers to you, Cheers, Dave. everyone. Mm. He smells delicious. There's no better way mm. to enjoy a daiquiri mm. than that, right? It's, oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel bad. Oh. So we oh. we had to talk about what order things would go uh. in, and I, I feel like this might be your favorite. I like to try and put mm. your favorite closer to the end. But I it was mean, melting at a at a crazy rate. What so. can we say here? I mean, the, uh, the words, I'm yeah. just speechless. Mm. Oh, gosh. Refreshing. The ice is perfect, right? You can get like the ultimate brain freeze from yeah. this, but oh, in yeah. the bestest way possible. If you breathe on it, the uh, the steam is so cold, the steam is coming up from it. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I can imagine being in the pool. So could be mm -hmm. in Arizona right now, same Oh yeah. And be cool, you know? Mm. Oh, great, what a... The, so simple. Naughty daiquiri. So easy, and mm. you can get, like Tammy said, mm. huge. You can put this into a body bag if you have a uh, if you have a big you enough have those freezer. Lying somewhere. And just let that yep. sort of uh, uh, freeze. Uh, bring it out. Uh, if you, you know, again, this has been melting for a while, so it still has some of its uh, fidelity. Yeah. But if you don't, it's yeah. Philosopher. Cocktail Lulu says it's an adult slushy. That's mm -hmm. exactly what this is, mm -hmm. right? That's exactly what this yeah. is. And the funny thing is, mm. it tastes stronger when there's not obviously all the slushiness in there. Yeah. 
um, this this could trick you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This could trick you a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, you're like, oh, this is. I feel like I'm cooling down. This tastes like lemonade. Yeah. Um, this is like that last scene in Thelma and Louise. Mm -hmm. Like you know you're going off the mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, off the the hill. You're fully aware of what you're doing. But like you're with your partner. Yeah. And it's also dry as hell and hot yeah. and all that. Yeah. This is exactly what this uh, drink represents. This is fantastic. Mm. We need to make bigger zip. I've got the family size Ziploc yeah. bags at home. Yeah. Um, I will be drying this out. Mm. But just for uh, for me. Yeah, all day. <laughs> no, no pool parties. It's called anything. Wednesday. Yes, let's call it Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, let's give a quick shout out to everyone who's tuned in in the chat so far. We have Mila in the house. Doug is here. Ash is here. Hey, Cynthia. We also have Dixie. Oh, and now here, pressed the wrong button. Uh oh. No, I'm just, oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, live show, live show. Live show. Uh, we have Deirdre with us as well. Um, everyone's loving this so far. Uh, feet or not feet? 115 in Palm Springs. That does not sound like fun. Carlton is in the house. Mm. Killer Vamp is here. What up, KT? Um, yeah, well, Paul, of course, is in the house here as well with us. And we've got Danny here. Hi to Larry. Um, Sterling says that's Scott's most colorful shirt yet. Yeah. That is that is correct. Yeah, um, for a very hot uh, day, yeah. I like to wear my coolest shirt, and I think this is my coolest shirt. Yes, I, I do. I mean, what was the first thing when I came in today? What was the first thing I said? Yeah, you said, oh my God, you've outdressed me again, Cushman. Is that what you said? That's what I heard. No. <laughs> no, you didn't say that? No, I said, oh wow, I love your shirt. <laughs> But it may have been the first one. Yep. It may have been the first uh, comment. Thanks, everybody. But, uh, thank I see you. a lot of shirt love. Thank you. A lot of shirt love there. See? That's, that's how you yeah, shock right. people when you only yeah. wear black t-shirts and that's then right. suddenly you come in with a splash of color. A splash of you know color. I mean? Still technically a black shirt. but Exactly. Well, all right. Let's go to the bottom of the chat, see yep. what the last thing is here. Uh, oh, they're still talking about temperatures. Well, yeah, it's a hot one. Well, that's why we're doing this. <laughs> that's uh, why we're doing this one. Yeah. Hey, Summer's in the house, and Summer's mom. Whoop, oh, whoop. great, the I mean, moves. Just, I don't know if you, we're doing frozen daiquiri mm. slushies here. Soon. Mm. Okay. All right, drink number two. Drink number two is a drink of my own creation. Love it. It is a mix that I make. Okay. Um, it is perfect. Yes. Uh, for a few reasons. I think it's perfect for a few reasons. First of all. You're so humble. I first love of all, how humble you listen, always I, are. Just like in Drinker Stinker, we, yeah. don't, uh, we don't hate on the bartender. We just hate on the drink. Yep. I am not saying that what I've done is perfect. I'm saying this this is perfect and it came through me. Uh, okay. the, the muse came through me. Yes. Um, so you're, you're sitting by the pool. Yes. You are looking for a cocktail, right? Yes. What's the worst thing that can possibly happen to you? You drink the cocktail? No cocktails. Yes, You're well, second worst thing. Alcohol pool. You drink the whole cocktail and then the whole, like the ice melts, and then you're sitting there drinking the water like, yeah. like a jerk, yeah. right? Well, I have created uh, this. This is called Dr. Kush's Other Side of the Pillow Mix. Other side? Because the other side of the pillow is always the coldest part of the pillow. So this is the other side of the pillow mix. Um, I will, I could tell you what it is, but I actually made a video oh. on what it is. So uh, we're gonna let Kevin play that, and then I'm gonna get back into how we make a cocktail All from right. it. So uh, Kevin, play that. Let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome to Dr. Kush's. We are today going to be making some of Dr. Kush's other side of the pillow mix. This is the only thing that you will need to keep cool during summer. Uh, I don't care if you eat it, I don't care if you put it on your head, I don't care what, I don't care if you sleep in it and keep it actually on the other side of your pillow. Whatever you're doing, this is what you need. Some cucumbers, watermelon, mint, and a coconut, fresh. <clears throat> you're also gonna need a juicer. You're gonna wanna juice the watermelon and the cucumber. Let's start. Once I have finished juicing, I like to take the coconut water and I like to pour it through the juicer to get all the other juices out, plus incorporate all of the coconut juice, coconut water, whatever you want to call it. We're recording? Great. 
Once you have all your juice, I like to give it one more strain right through a tea strainer. Once I have my juice uh, ready to go, I like to take some mint here, crack it, and drop it in. And then we blend. One more time through the tea strainer. We don't want any of this mint in here, so that's what this second tea straining is doing. And there you have it. Dr. Kush's other side of the pillow mix. One thing that I do do with this every time I make it is I put some of it into an ice cube maker. That way when I'm making my cocktails with it, I don't have to use water ice. I can use Dr. Kush's other side of the pillow ice mix. Put a cover on it, put it in the freezer for a couple days and you are set. Back to you Kush and Tammy. I'm still sleeping on the, on the first day. Yeah. I know. I uh, I didn't realize I had made Moby Dick over oh, there, the longest video of all time. No, but it was really interesting. Thank you, Tam. Uh, so this is what I uh, made. Yeah. This is the other side of the uh, pillow mix, and then these are the ice cubes that yeah. I made uh, from it, right here. So there is. Uh, oddly enough, no water going into this. Okay. So we are going to be making a cocktail, and what I think is fun about this is uh, you can choose any uh, any liquor you want back here, and we will make the cocktail. Me? Any, whatever you want. Just from this shelf? From from this shelf? From any shelf? You want right. to run to the back and get some from the back? No, whatever I'm it is. I'm trying to think. Well, um, well, we just had rum. Yeah. You're about to have gin. About to have gin. Yeah. You might hate it, but let's. Vodka. Vodka's okay. perfect for this. I know Paul is going to say something in the... Oh, he already said it. Yeah. It's not vodka. <laughs> yeah. You uh, know me. Paul, just so you know, Paul, I made uh, I made this with scotch earlier. Interesting. Very nice. I made it with tequila uh -huh. uh, earlier, okay. and I have made it with fernet as well. Ah. All of these work very well. So once you have your other side of the pillow mix, yeah. uh, you want to take... Uh, one sec. Because let's get real. I mean, there is nothing great greater than hot head, hot pillow, yeah. and then you swap sides, yeah. and it's that nice, fresh, cool feeling yeah. on your head. Yeah, for I sure. Mean, uh, fantastic name. Growing up in uh, in Phoenix, we used to uh, put our uh, oh, our uh, uh, sheets in, in ice. Well, into the shower, let them dry off for a second, then put them on because it evaporates. It just oh, and gosh. it's so cool and delicious. Uh, so put in two ounces of whatever spirit you want. Okay. Again, I love it that you can mix it with anything. So yeah, I was so I was trying everything. So I went, I did scotch with yeah. it. Uh, so scotch and coconut, a very very uh, uh, famous uh, mixing a uh, mixture. Mm. Uh, that stuff is awesome. Um, fernet, I was a little weary about fernet. Now I love fernet, but yeah. it ended up working out really well. Uh, I think. Okay. Oh, have my scoop. There it is. Uh, we're just gonna be putting in the juice of. Oh, sorry. Uh, two ounces. Okay. Of so, yeah. Is this a show or what? What are we doing? What are we doing uh, here? Two ounces of vodka. Do you need that in the center, Greg? Is that what's going on? Oh, yeah, okay. right there. Sure. Why not? Two ounces of vodka right in the center of your uh, uh, Just For TV mat. Yep. Uh, we want to do uh, the squeeze of half of a lime. It's too hot to bring out your jigger, so don't even worry about it. Just okay. get that going. And then equal parts of the uh, Dr. Kush's other side of the pillow mix. Uh, right there. Now, you can shake with regular ice, but why not just shake with Dr. Kush's other side of the pillow mix? That way you are only adding more of the flavor yeah. without ever having that uh, melty, you know, that, like that Love business. It. Yeah, so that's what we're doing here. Adding more of the goodness. Just all goodness. It's just 100% amazing goodness. And it seems healthy. I mean, let's get real. This is what we call healthy yogurt. The vodka wasn't the best thing, wow. but yes, but it's, it's very- potatoes. Yeah. Get your veggies in, kids. Come on. I mean. Okay. Right, do you want to hand me the uh, hurricane glass? One of these guys? Uh, hurricane. There's, oh, that this one right guy. There. Yeah. I didn't see that back there. We so we are going to- I brought it in a while ago and I forgot ah. to bring it home. Ah. We're gonna add just a couple more of our cubes. Okay. Why not? Why not? Do we have them? And then we're gonna pump and dump this. 
Pump and dump is also called a, uh, a dirty dump. A dirty dump. Apparently. Yeah, some yep. people love calling it the dirty dump. Dirty dump. Um, uh, you know, you guys know me, I don't love Need. Reusing. Do need no, no, you're good. Yeah, you need a straw. I don't love uh, using fresh fruit for my garnish. I like to use old fruit. Uh, this is it. Uh, this is Tammy's. Uh, Tammy's uh, uh, vodka. Other side of the pillow mix. I'm, I'm excited. I mean, it looks amazing. It, it looks I'm very sure pretty. It's delicious. I'll show it from this side. So to be very honest, I've side. never made it with. Uh, I just spilled again. Uh, right. I've never made it with um, vodka. Ah, well. I just, it didn't even occur to me. Well, little did you know yes. that you were gonna have a show with me today. <laughs> and forget, we were gonna have some vodka. I forget that Tammy's a vodka fan. Cheers. Cheers to you. Let's see, it might be It might be horrible. I it might know. be? I doubt it. Actually, it's fantastic. <laughs> it's so nice, right? Mm. Mm. Ooh. There's just something okay. about this particular mix. It's just like sit with it for a second. Again, as a as a, I'm basically one of the Atreides. Mm. Anybody get that reference? Mm. Uh, I'm Paul Atreides. I am uh, Muad'Dib uh, from Dune. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, I I am a, I am a person of the desert. Yes. I know how to stay cold. Yeah. This mixture. This will do it. Will do it. This yes. will sit cold in your belly like mm -hmm. you swallowed uh, like you swallowed a penguin. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, maybe some ice cubes. Or a penguin. No, okay. Well, um, I've got to say, I love the the taste of your uh, on the other side of the pillow yeah. mixture. Other side of the pillow, yeah. It tastes healthy. It yeah. really does. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's for sure. Like, I can taste the cucumber out of there. I can taste the watermelon. Yeah. Um, it's so weird because the mixture that you've made almost tastes a little bit like beets. It's very earthy. Interesting. That, I'm sure that cucumber is probably playing some role. Maybe in that. that's what yeah. it is. I don't know, but it, it tastes earthy in in a, in a good way. Sure. Healthy. Yeah. So we healthy cool. Yeah. I'll take it. See, if I would have known that, I would have put that in my thermos. There you go. <laughs> yeah, right. Not white claws. <laughs> Those white claws will get you in the middle of the desert. You think that's what's going to help you? Oh. No, isn't absolutely not. I had isn't. water on the outside yeah. and uh, my uh, my white claws in my in my thermos. Yeah, wasn't a smart idea. No, um, yeah, was still paying for it uh, a week, well, four days after with uh, red sunburn cheeks. Yes, a phoenix will do Gotta that to hydrate. you. I you do have to hydrate. That. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But this is a fantastic. Again, poolside, keep cool, uh, run around in the sun. Yeah, at 120 degrees. Right, it's the way to go. Love it. Yeah. Look at you. You need to start selling those things. <laughs> yeah, the uh, other side of the pillow mix. mixtures and stuff. Yeah, wow. I don't think uh, my well, wife would be all Because everyone gets the, the, the reference. Yeah, oh everyone yeah. Everyone gets the reference. You, everyone's experienced it. There's no world, yeah, there is no world where uh, the other side of the pillow is not the best side of the pillow. Absolutely. See, if look, only, your mom's in the house, Susan. Yeah. I mean, if anyone She's, knows anything about Arizona. She is still in Phoenix, so yeah, that is, uh, <gasps> yeesh. Oh, Robin McCracken is in the house. Hello to you. And I did see uh, somebody here as well, uh, Adam, Adam Truth. I would play the song Lady in Red while you're shaking. Do we have Lady in Red ready to go? Probably Are we good? Not. No, okay. All right, all right, never no. mind. Kevin is not a- Next uh, time, a, DJ. Uh, DJ, yeah. so. Um, Robin McCracken says, Tammy, I love your dress. Uh oh. That is great. Pants. I have pants on, <laughs> I don't know if anyone, this is a top. I don't know, but thank you very much. I very much appreciate it. Um, it's so, to well, show. I was trying to show that I have pants, so I could have just done that. Yeah. Could have just done that. Uh, well, I'm excited for drink number three. I well. Mean, what else is going to, I'm so cool right now. Yeah. I'm cooled down. Chilling, out max, relaxed yeah. and all cool. Yeah. Um, the next one is, uh, it's not, it's not out of the ordinary. Okay. It is easily one of the most recognizable cocktails, first of all in England. Yes. Uh, right. And second of all during summer. All right, I think I already know what you're gonna yeah. say. Yeah, uh, so there is a tennis tournament every year yes. called Wimbledon. Little old thing called Wimbledon. Little thing, I uh, learned it was a grass court today and they serve yes. this guy right here. This mm -hmm. is Pim's number one. Yep. Uh, we are going to be making a Pim's cup Mm -hmm. uh, actually, you're going to be making a Pim's cup. Oh, That's how right. this is going to go. Uh, and you and I are going to be uh, having a, sl a small competition. Pim's number one. You yeah. know, it, obviously, James Pim. James Pim, of course. Uh, a farmer. 
Yeah. Farmer's Son. Oh, Farmer's Son. Yeah, yeah. Had, didn't they own like an oyster bar he or something? He did, he owned an oyster bar. I remember, yeah. yeah. So it's, we're talking mid-1800s. Yep. And still to this day, the Pim's Cup is one of, or if not the, uh, most favorable drink at, at Wimbledon. Absolutely. How cool yeah. is that? So what the, what the uh, mint julep is to the Kentucky Derby, yeah. this is to the, um, uh, to the Wimbledon. Mm -hmm. uh, the fun thing about this, and I, I, we, have, we have some accoutrement uh, sitting around here, uh, we are going to just have a quick uh, little competition to see who can okay. decorate uh, like, the ooh, cocktail. Uh, no, like, no. I will beat you. No, pretty, it's not Pretty tennis. good at tennis. Okay. Uh, You're good at tennis? You play tennis? I, I play a little tennis, yeah. I play a little tennis. I played racquetball for a long time, but I do play tennis now. Um, oh, wow, wow. So we're going to start here, Tam. We're going to, I'm, yeah. I'm not uh, decorating anything. We want to just start here. Okay. Uh, we want to add uh, this uh, with some uh, lemonade. Now, this is just sugar uh, and lemon okay. with a little bit of water. Uh, you want to add about three ounces of that. We're building this in cup. You can build this say, guy. How, why, um, why build this guy that? right in cup. That is how this can works. You grab so, your, yeah. your jigger. Okay. So, three ounces in each. All right. Yeah. Wait, let me do two first. Yeah. Boom. Do this in here. This is, of course, freshly homemade. Could yes, just I just yeah, I wasn't about to sit around and juice a bunch of lemons uh, as we went. So this yeah. is just a little homemade. Le it's lemon and sugar, equal equal parts lemon and sugar water. Done. Our simple syrup. Then we want to muddle. We want to get some of that cucumber uh, ness out of there. So That's a so nice easy muddle. We don't want to break these. Uh, we don't want to break this up too much. Okay. Just, uh, just sort of getting that some of that cucumber ness out of there. There's a lot uh, of. Yeah. Squish sort of, it a little. Yeah, just squish it a little. There's a lot of refreshment, a lot of water that goes into cucumbers, and uh, it brings out a lot of, of great flavors in the pims. Well, I think it's a great little secret, too, because cucumber has a lot of water in it. Yeah. So if you're drinking alcohol and you're in a hot place, yeah. you're obviously dehydrating, you're not drinking a lot of water. Cucumber is a great little trickaroo yeah. to throw in there. Just shove a cucumber down your throat and, that, and go. Yes, just that too. Put it in your drinks, though. Yeah. It's more recommended. However, you want to do it. All right. I Robin think, McCracken uh, asked if I play pickleball. Uh, Robin, I did just pick up pickleball. What's pickleball again? Pickleball is like tennis, but much shorter. You use little wiffle balls. Lame. And tie oh, no, 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 Lame. Tammy. Tammy, I thought the same thing when I saw the people playing it. Kids game. I said, this is ridiculous. Kids and then game. I played it. I, it's amazing. The only problem with it is, is you move faster. Yeah. So you'll twist an ankle much quicker. Oh, so great. gotta be careful. Well, Ten feet out of. We can't do all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Honestly, if we played pickleball, we would be the youngest people playing pickleball oh, by really? about 20 oh. years. Yeah, oh. that's the only okay. reason I know that I watch people rip their knees out constantly. Okay. Okay. Now the original, uh, the original uh, Pim's cup yeah. uh, uh, calls for two ounces of Pim's. I, it's fine, but Pim's, of course, is a gin-based liqueur. Yeah. So we're gonna be putting in an ounce and a half of Pim's, right. followed by a half ounce of gin, to sort of. You and I are professionals, you know. We're yeah. we're the we're the real deal. Yeah. We're the we're the real McCoys here. Uh -huh. We're gonna be putting in. We're gonna be bumping this Pims up just a touch okay. uh, by adding some gin to it. Yeah, because Pims has uh, it's it has herbs in it, right? Or herbs, as you call them. I do. I do call um, them herbs. Do we know what they are though? Uh, I'm sure a somebody bunch of does. Stuff? Uh, Let's see. What do we got here? Yeah. Uh, too much writing. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> There's, There's a, a lot, lot going of herbs. On there. Yeah. Healthy stuff. Again, healthier drinking. We yeah. When it I gets mean, cold or when it gets hot, there's nothing you want to do worse than just throw a bunch of uh, garbage down your throat. Yeah. yeah. Um. All right. So to to make this anywhere between even better. Yeah. Even anywhere between a uh, a half ounce to a full ounce. I'm gonna leave that up to you, but uh, don't do that. You know what we, I'm gonna do. Well, we got the bigger glasses. We we broke one of the smaller. A Collins, so I figured uh, I got to find a way to fill this up somehow. Okay, well, there you go. All right. Okay, and then I have. Oh, you're looking pretty good. I have this. Okay, ooh. Yeah, to All just right. be very careful as that goes in. Very nice, excellent. Okay. I have this one too. I'll just, put oh, that just in do line. that, okay. Yep. yep. Uh, and then we the have last. clean hands, everyone. I know. We do. You know, people get excited they sometimes do. when we touch ice with our hands. We have. Sterile, disinfected hands that's before how, we even start we the show. Uh, we just need okay. one ounce of some ginger ale. No, not just topping it off? Just top it off. Oh, okay. There that you go. Right? Okay. Yep, okay. perfect. Right. Okay, now this is fine, this is fun, this is pretty. Yes. The most 
important mm -hmm. part of a uh, of a Pimm's cup, though, is the garnish. So, like, you can have, oh. of course, you can have a, um, a a mint julep, but it's not a mint julep until it's in the mint julep cup. True. So you have the ice overflowing. Yeah. That kind of thing. A Pimm's cup needs the garnish. So okay. uh, I have brought in uh, some strawberries, yeah. some basil, yeah. and a cucumber. If you want to throw in some limes or lemon, nope. I say go for it. Well, we are going to have a small competition just to see the okay. garnish queen okay. versus the guy who hates garnishes. Yeah. A quick uh, garnishing competition. So I'm going to take mine over here. Take yours. I need those toothpicks. Oh, ho, 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 Tammy coming hard. What? Stickers That's right there. Standard. Standard. Okay. Uh, and uh, are you using that knife? Uh, I'm going to give you this one. Okay. Give me that one. Okay. I'm going to grab the uh, little cucumber. Okay. Here. Yeah, you grab that cucumber. I'm going to yeah. start on a on a strawberry here. I just need to wait a minute. Cut this straight down. Don't. Yeah. Know. That too you can explain what you're doing as you're doing it, so I'm we're not just sitting here and. Right now. I'm okay. Just cutting a cucumber. Excellent. Um, that didn't turn out like make, I wanted it to. Make that into. I'm thing. making a little heart out of a strawberry, so you can't steal that idea. Not doing that. Thank you. I'm not doing that. At okay. All. Throwing a heart right I'm there. I feel like try. that's adorable. Anybody seeing that so far? Okay. Can I have this cucumber? It Thank you. Work out. Yeah. Well, you know why you didn't use the right tool is the problem. You should have yeah, used this I guy. Yeah. That's what well, I, I had one right here. It was sitting right there in front of you. See okay, I need that. <laughs> well, okay. you take... Well, that's what I need. Well, okay. okay. Well, I'm going to give it to you here in a minute. That. All right. One sec. Yeah. I want one more. I want the next layer down. <laughs> yes. That's exactly the one I want. I'm going to throw this all the way deep in to here so that we get this beautiful line. Mm -hmm. How's that line working? Oh, the line didn't work as well as I wanted it to. Mm -hmm. Throw that right there. So what you do with this little strip is little you just line. make little, little wavy lines. Oh, that's really smart. Little okay. wavy lines like that. All right, that. well, I gotta move on to the basil then. Like okay. I'm going to take my basil. I have a bunch of little paper clips over here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna paper clip them. To the side. That little thing right there. I'm wasting a ton of paper clips just to paper clip a little dress on my cocktail. Mm -hmm. Right there. That's, uh, I think that, that uh, wavy cucumber might win it for you. Just my idea. Well, I'm just saying, you, didn't, you don't have a strawberry heart. I don't. So that's where you're going to lose some points. It's fine. Then I'm gonna pierce a little hole. Oh here. dang! You're going for the full thing, huh? Well, yeah. The cocktail queen or the the garnish queen. Well, let's see. Let's see what we got. Are we out of uh, straws? Oh, I forgot. I brought one. I brought one extra thing in. That. Excellent. Done. All right. <laughs> I'm going to say it was a timed thing. Oh, well, it's a show. Wait, well, everyone's enjoying this. <laughs> everyone's just... Watching, watching the queen. Oh my goodness, look at that. So I'm just going to do a little wow. thing like that. I'm going to put that on top. Right, sort of like, Woo, like this doggy, thing. look at that. All right. Okay. How's that? Tammy killing the impromptu garnish. Well, you know. I love it. I try my best. What do you do? Oh, I, uh... You have, like, laundry hanging down. That's what yours looks like. Okay, well, it. yours looks... I love it, though. I yours looks like a shish kebab. What are we talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. Yeah, Here we yeah. go. Yeah, well, we're going to make... Forget about uh, it. If you guys want to just let us know uh, what is going on in the... Uh, who won? Yes. Uh, yeah, who's uh, who's going to win? I mean, the umbrella thing I'm loving right now. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, that's, I mean, I mean it's uh, keep your heart cold. Or keep your heart... Uh, keep your heart uh, as, as shaded. Shaded? Yeah. Is that a thing? I don't know. Shade your heart. Adam True says a draw. Danny says Tammy. Yeah, uh, Kyle Tennis says Yay, Kyle. See? Well, okay, Thank Danny, you. Uh, Dixie. Dixie, and... Thank you. Wow, beautiful, says Robin McCracken. Yeah. Okay, it's a draw. Adam uh, Kush, Kush kind of looks like what you might find at the LA River. Tammy wins, okay. What? All right. Oh my God, the umbrella. McCracken loves the umbrella. I think the umbrella is great. Yes. I got it. Uh, I got it. McCracken okay. says, yeah. uh, feed or not feed says draw. draw. Okay, well. I think it's a draw too. I didn't get one person that voted for me. So yeah, they, did. Uh, they said uh, everybody said, uh, "Yeah, Kush is fine." Tammy's did this thing. All right, Tammy, congratulations! Uh, wow. In order to celebrate your victory. Wait, I need to uh, get my other, get my straw. Yeah, are we out of straws? 
Yeah, must this, be. I don't know where they've all gone. They've all disappeared. Oh, Dean. they're all in here. Here we go. Oh, good. Here we go. There we go. Sorry, Dean. Okay. Dean. Right. There we go. Yeah. Uh, the Pim's Cup. Pim's Cup. Touch of extra. Uh, touch of extra gin. Yeah. And also, uh, what they say, a touch extra. The kids say this is a touch extra with the garnish. Is that what it is? The kids say that? I mean, the, the millennials. The over 18? Oh, they're 21 yeah. in America? Mm hmm. Over 18 in, in England? Mmm. Oh. I mean. The, the competition was hot. This drink brought us back down. It did. <laughs> but you know what's kind of weird? And that shows probably what kind of professional uh, uh, Pim's cup drinkers we are. Uh huh. Uh, this is how I normally, like, uh, taste the Pim's cup. We oh, yeah? We added more gin. Yeah, we added a touch more gin. Yeah, well, normal Pim's uh, cups don't even have it. Normal Pim's cup, uh... It's just the Pim's number one. It's right? just Pim's number one and lemonade. Whoa. That's a Pim's cup. So Pim's, uh, just Pim's is Pim's. Uh, Pim's number one. Otherwise, you can add some lemonade. Mm. I like to add the ginger to give it some bubbles, and I like yeah. to add the extra gin because, come on. I mean, super refreshing. Trade delicioso. The garnishes, mm -hmm. I mean... Won the night. Let's yeah, I mean my real. laundry, my laundry uh, array right here. I feel like oh, did, you're drying did, out did the, a good the basil. Job. Yeah. Well, let's bring all these drinks back up. Yeah. Um, this was, of course. <laughs> I think we might. I think we one. might know the winner there. Yeah, mine's gone. Um, of course we have the um, the other side, other side of, the, of yeah. the pillow. Yeah, the I other mean, side of the pillow mix. Gotta say, with your super healthy tasting mixture and sure. everything. Fantastic. Yeah. Obviously. Obviously. I would love to try what it tastes like with tequila, yeah. with scotch. We will, um, I will uh, keep rum. it here and soon we will do the same thing. We should, we should yeah. experiment with it. Yeah, yeah. Pim's Cup, always a super classic. Always. Summertime, again, what I call the naughty lemonade right. situation. Yeah. But as you already knew, yeah. the winner of the week, <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> the frozen daiquiri. I yeah. Mean, come on, everybody. It's funny. tough to beat. I mean, like a properly frozen daiquiri mm. with all, you know, you're not worried about too much ice, you're not worried about too much water, too much yeah. chunks. Yeah. Like you, uh, and again, I probably would have put this one last, except for it was well, melting too. Like you can see it's liquid it's now. It's true, it's a little liquidy. <laughs> but I tell you what, yeah. it doesn't lose in flavor. No, no, it's it wins in flavor. It doesn't lose in flavor at all. It loses in ice, yeah. Mm. Doesn't matter, it's still delicious. Mm. Still fantastic. Yeah. And I mean, and three very different looking drinks. Three incredibly different looking drinks. I got that note a little while ago. They said uh, you should uh, bring in drinks that look different than uh, the other ones. Oh, I really? Took the note. Oh, well, <laughs> I took the note. Look did. at that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, always a winner. And just in general, daiquiri is always fantastic. It's yeah. always a winner of any party. Absolutely. Um, and simple to make with three ingredients yeah. to have a fantastic cocktail to make everyone happy. For I this one, a little water, a little salt. But yes. That's true. For this. Little water, a okay. little salt. Which everyone normally should have at home. Absolutely. Salt water. You're not asking for much. Here, just add a bit of tap water and some salt you know, we make your dinner with or yeah. whatnot. Um, and it's a winner for everyone. I've never met anyone who said, oh, yeah, I hate daiquiris. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay, you're not my friend. Not my friend. Then, um. Bye. Bye. Um, yeah, oh, of course. Winner, winner. Um, how much fun was that? I feel a lot cooler. Me too, actually. I do feel a lot cooler. A little drunker, wearing my, but a lot wearing cooler. Wearing my coolest shirt, drinking yeah. the coolest drinks. Yes. Yeah. Um, that was fun. Thank you, Dad. Could have used this a week ago. Yeah. When no, I, I went to uh, Arizona. But, um, you know, better late than never. Yeah. So, um, I want to say thank you to everyone. Thank you for all your comments in, in the chat. Uh, we also have Vin... How do you spell? Vindene? Vindene. Vindene. Just garnish with more booze. Yeah, that's I a like, good spot. I like that's that. a good thought, actually. Like where at. That's actually great. Yeah. Um, letter space one, letter space two. The umbrella was too, too much. Too much. Listen. It was too much. Listen. Uh, honestly. No. Garnish has Disagree. never been my thing. I am not a uh, not a garnish person, but uh, Tammy is. So I figured let's give Tammy a spot, a spot to shine, and I, she's shown. I disagree because my first reaction was when I saw the umbrella was like, dang! I didn't think of that. <laughs> They're right there. You could have grabbed know, one. I, what? I didn't even. I didn't think of the umbrellas. I have almonds. Maybe we could do yeah. something with that. Um, thanks, Kush. Thanks, Tam. 
I mean, how much fun was this? Thank you so everyone for tuning in with us this Friday. We will, of course, be back again in a week's time. And uh, don't forget to tune in to my oh, show. I was just going to say, yes, tomorrow, perfect. you got an exciting show. Tomorrow going show, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow uh, at uh, youtube.com slash kushtender at 6 p.m., so an hour later than this one. Uh, I have Joel Stofer. Uh, he will be making drinks with us. Joel Stofer, if you don't know, he is from uh, the show Stranger Things. He is also from the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. He and I will be making, and I'm announcing Announcing it first here, he and I will be making a drink called Eddie the Hero. It is a zombie variation, so uh, tune in for that. It'll be a lot of fun. Bring your Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and your Stranger Things questions. He has promised to answer them all, so oh, I don't know awesome. how long he's going to be there. So show up, youtube.com slash kushtender. Okay, and that's at 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. um, PST. PST, right. All right, you probably see me in the chat there. Yes. Um, geeking out on all my uh, all my Stranger Things uh, questions. I love it. Um, Thanks for that. Thank, Thank you, you, everybody, for tuning in. Of course, check on all our shorts that we have here on YouTube, also on TikTok as well. Um, if you're feeling daring, hop on over to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash mixcocktailhour. Until next time, I'm Tammy Harrison. This is Scott Cushman. Share it. Bye, guys. <laughs>